Thank you, Leslie. So our Leslie is our current lieutenant governor. She is uh, our former attorney general and was attorney general when Roe v. Wade was overturned. So our former lieutenant governor, who is now our attorney general, <laughs> Tim Griffin. Uh, Tim is always, typically he is here with us. He is in Ar Army uh, National Guard training, or not training, but he's with Army National Guard this weekend and, and couldn't be with us. But he did uh, want to, to send his regrets for not being here. He asked that we uh, read a, a short note from him. Dear fellow Arkansans, unfortunately I cannot be with y'all in person because he writes y'all. I am currently out of state on my Army duty. As Attorney General, it is my privilege to recognize the 45th Annual March for Life in Arkansas. Arkansas is ranked as the most pro-life state in the nation for the third year in a row, and I extend my gratitude to everyone who made that possible through their commitment to fight for those without a voice. We are gathered at this prayerful event to remember more than 60 million unborn children who have been killed by legal abortion. Today also marks the 50th anniversary of the Roe v. Wade U.S. Supreme Court decision that legalized abortion in the United States on January 22, 1973. But on June 24, 2022, the U.S. Supreme Court overturned that ruling, finally allowing Arkansans to enforce laws that protect the unborn. I stand ready to defend the rights of the unborn in court, and we need to respect life in all our policies. It is an honor to serve as your Attorney General. Please do not hesitate to contact me, and here's his number if you'd like it, 501-682-2007, if I can ever be of assistance to you, sincerely, Tim Griffin, Attorney General.